Hi guys, it's Justin here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a deep dive on the performance of the latest 516.79 Hotfix driver and the previous official 516.59 NVIDIA driver. Um, so what I did is I benchmarked each of those drivers over 8 games, as you can see over here. I set all my games to high settings, all 1080p, and here we go. So, as you can see here, I added up all these FPSs, and I got to a total FPS amount of 523.03, and that gave me an average FPS of 65.38 uh, FPS per game. And then for the 516.59 driver, I did the same thing, benchmarked those 8 games and uh, added those FPSs up and then I got to a total amount of 523.02 FPS which gives me the exact same figure of 65.38 FPS average per game. So what you can see is uh, in terms of driver performance there's not really much between the two. In fact I actually think this is quite a nice drive update because um, let me just link it to the website over here as you can see I don't have those games so I can't provide you with testing for it but I watched the video yesterday where if you got Red Dead Redemption yeah there's a nice impo uh, performance improvement in fact the guy I was watching he um, without this or with the previous driver he was getting about 98 FPS and then with this new driver he was actually getting about 110 FPS consistently so you'll see there's a nice 10% improvement on Red Dead Redemption and then on Apex Legends, Overwatch, Dungeons, Halo Infinite and Destiny um, no performance increases but at least there's game stability so I think you're gonna get less FPS spikes in those games unfortunately I don't have those games so I can't uh, you know do tests on those but guys, if you want my um, if you want my uh, suggestion, I'd actually say if you don't have Red Dead Redemption and you don't play these games, just stay on 516.59. There's no real difference between the drivers. But if you have any of these games, in particular Red Dead Redemption, 516.79 is a fantastic driver. Because you're going to get the same performance in the other games, but you're going to get a, a, a performance increase, especially on Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, you can't go and download this via the normal avenue, via uh, official NVIDIA drivers. Because you'll see it just gives you the last WHQL driver, which is 516.59. What you do, and I'll put this, um, this website's uh, link in the description of the video. You go to Guru3D. Just follow that link and then you just scroll down until you get to download locations and then you just click on download primary URL and you'll be able to download 516.79. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers. Uh, I am still a very new channel. So I am growing steadily, so thank you for the support. It's people like you. And if you haven't subscribed just yet, I'm going to smash the no, I'm joking. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and smash that like button. But more importantly, smash the sub button. Uh, trust me, guys, I'm still new at this, but I'm definitely going to get better. I'll do any types of testing that you guys want. So please hit me up in the comment section. Other than that, have a good day. It's Saturday. Yay. It's people like you. Cheers. Bye.